Welcome to the Digital Marketing News. I'm Tiffany Allen. And I am Joshua Knight with your first story this week. And bear with me for a second. There are bears with me for a second. There are. I do. I feel like festively surveilled, which is the heart of the holiday season, really. Santa bear is always watching. Yeah, these bears do not just see you when you're sleeping and you know when you're awake. They have been going deep into your Facebook data and they know what you're liking, disliking, and even clicking the little wow icon on. That's true. Right. But you know who's doing a little bit less surveillance and is maybe a platform we should be keeping an eye on? Tell me. Reddit. Oh. Reddit, yes. They have just rolled out a report that says that they have reached 430 million active monthly users. That's a lot. Yeah, that's impressive because that's not just the folks who have created an account. This is people who are logging in at least once a month to check their stuff. So this is over 30% growth year over year. Wow. Very impressive. Their comments, so their engagement is also up 37% on comments. Their view count is up 53%. Pretty much everybody flocking to Reddit. Uh, we should note, though, to stay grounded in reality, that that is still about a fourth of the monthly active users of Facebook right. and about half of Instagram. However, that is almost double the monthly active users on Twitter. Wow, who knew? So yeah, worth taking a look at. We should note that Reddit is its own tricky marketplace. The folks there are a little resistant to traditional marketing tactics. But if you embrace the platform, you can get some cool results. For example, uh, Bill Gates of mom and pop shop Microsoft. I've heard of that. Small business, has a lot of promise though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that kid's going places. He did an AMA though, and Ask Me Anything on the Reddit platform and got millions of responses, tons of publicity for the company, and that was without an ad buy. That was just showing up and participating in a kind of authentic, transparent way. Yeah. So give it a shot, marketers. If you have an audience that might be on Reddit, it's definitely worth checking out. Yeah. Speaking of social media and Christmas. And we were. And we are. <laughs> uh, Facebook added more reporting options just in time for the holidays. That was my one Christmas wish. I know. And Santa Bear heard you and Santa Bear delivered. <laughs> Santa Bear hears everything. <laughs> so this new reporting features will add cross account reporting so you can see metrics including reach, impressions, and conversions across accounts. Oh. So if you manage multiple accounts, Accounts. This is like, hooray, we can do this now. What a time to be alive. Um, this also includes deduplicated reach. So you'll get a clear picture of reach and it's a little bit more accurate, which is good. Super nice. Of course. Uh, you also have a custom metric building feature. That's a build your own adventure. Um, so you can formulate and save metrics that will match your business goals. So make reporting a little bit easier. And also, as you may recall, they did add earlier this year conversion path reporting in the platform as well. So these are all great things to keep an eye on if you're using Facebook, especially in the holiday season and beyond. Yes, because it's all about measurement. And sometimes we measure the things that matter. And sometimes we get a little hung up on things that don't matter. Uh, one of those things might be, say, your subscriber count on oh. YouTube. Oh, no. Uh, something that I've certainly never been concerned with or have mentioned every week that you should subscribe to our show. Oh, that sounded familiar. Oh, yeah. But uh, if you are keeping an eye on your subscriber count on YouTube, you might notice that those numbers are going to go down a little bit, have slipped a bit in the past week, and will continue to. Uh, YouTube is doing a purge of closed accounts, some known spam accounts, so they have let everyone know that those subscriber counts might be dropping a little bit. So as far as like from a marketing standpoint, you're not losing anything of value because these are folks who never really were. Ooh. part of your audience and okay. so it's good to not have that vanity metric in there it is a little bit concerning because youtube gives you access to some of those marketing tools depending on how big your subscriber count is so it's definitely worth keeping an eye on and definitely worth asking people to subscribe and oh. stay subscribed if you would I, I see what you did for me it's christmas yeah yeah so speaking of social media. And we were. And we are. Still. Still. Twitter expands their access to brand survey tools. And this is going to go out to advertisers with, of course, a minimum spend. But let me tell you why this matters. Why does it matter? Well, managed accounts in the US now have access to these surveys that increase your capacity to measure ad performance, mm. right? So if you're advertising on Twitter, being able to measure that is a big deal. I would think uh, so. Like I mentioned, there is a minimum media spend requirement, but you can use it on large and small campaigns. So you'll get insights into how certain elements of your campaigns are performing. So did your video work? Do people like it? Are they watching it because they don't like it? What's going on <laughs> with your videos? Um, or, you know, gifts or whatever. It'll help you inform your creative, maybe make your ads a little bit better and more effective. It would be really cool if they had numbers on who was hate watching your stuff. Yes. That would be great. I can see this, though, for influencer marketing. Mm -hmm. If you have multiple 
like creatives with multiple people's pictures, then they could, you could have a little popularity contest. Oh, fun. Everyone likes those. <laughs> Everyone who wins them likes them, Tiffany. <laughs> okay, fair. <laughs> I'm still scarred. <laughs> so, of course, we're getting towards the end of the year. We're looking into 2020. And one thing that is certain is we need to keep our mind on our money, our money on our mind, mm -hmm. our money in our marketing, and our marketing mind on our marketing money. Oh, the four marketings of money. Yes. Uh, the M, 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 M. <laughs> No. So what's happening right now is marketers are starting to set their budgets for social media for 2020. And a lovely report from WARC has talked to 800 global client and agency executives to see what they're going to do mm. with their dollars. So I thought this was interesting. The top three platforms that people are going to increase spend on, 68% said that Instagram was their top priority. That was the biggest number. And then we had 64% said they're going to increase YouTube spending. And rounding out the top three was another Google product. Uh, Google itself is 60% <laughs> said that they were going to increase spending on that platform. So we welcome our Google overlords and we love them and would never say anything bad about them. This is true. Because they would know. I wrote it down. Again. <laughs> yes, they are better at surveillance than Santa Bear even. That is so true. 33% said that they would be increasing spending on TikTok. On the what? It's a watch. Um, where there's videos? Oh, no, no, no. The TikTok is that platform for people who feel old when they look at Snapchat to look at and contemplate just getting in the coffin and slamming shut the lid. Don't slam the lid. But in a fun way. It ruins the hinges. Oh, that's true. 81% <laughs> said so they're increasing spending in online video, which mm -hmm. includes live video. 74% said live video was an important part of that increased spend. So that is huge and that is relatively new. That LinkedIn is. rolling out its live video that uh, people are starting to focus on. Yeah, we love it. Do more of that. But what are they doing less of? Look, mm. I've got to talk to you about print media. 51% <laughs> are decreasing their spend in print media. Other areas of decreased spend include radio, cinema, cinema, and mm. TV. Yes, let me adjust my monocle for cinema. <laughs> just, just so very <laughs> fancy. <laughs> well, this is all the news we have for you this week. If you want more, you can check out uh, Top Rank on Twitter at Top Rank or me at Tiffany underscore Allen. That's right. And you can find me on Twitter at Night Rights. That's N-I-T-E-W-R-I-T-E-S. And please do subscribe to our blog, subscribe to this channel, and uh, have a happy holiday if I don't see you before the new year. I'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.